Welcome back to the lab, your place for tutorials, travel and inspiration. Today I will show you how easy it is to combine motion graphics with camera tracking. For this shot I took my camera on my gimbal and I just walked towards this car and this is the shot that we are using for this example. And this is where the sponsor of this video comes in, Motion VFX. I always try to make the motion graphics or the effects by myself and as Motion VFX reached out to me over Instagram, I take a closer look to their plugins. And for me, it's a huge time saver, especially I'm editing a lot of short form content and this drag and drop plugins comes in really handy. So I will put a link down in the description below where you got huge discounts on their website right now. But let's jump right back to the effect and I will show you later how to install everything and you will see it's very easy. So here, for example, on titles, you can click on the drop down and here we've got motion VFX. And these are all the title plugins I've got and there are a lot more. So I hover over this and I saw this M review comparison and I thought that looks very cool. So I put this right here decide how long I want this effect to have. You can just click on it. Over here on the inspector, you've got all the controls. You can simply adjust all these sliders and you got very easy results. So it's pretty handy and very fast. Make sure down here, enable 4K quality. Then I decided to make here the range, how much the car is worth. Then once again, over here, content controls, I position it roughly where I want it to have. So here, once again, play around with these sliders until you're happy with with the animation and this is what I like it's so easy and you can save a lot of time and you see there are just overlapping like that and all the other things we do in fusion so just stack them above each other from the duration how long you want the animation to have then when you're happy with that select all of them create a new fusion clip and jump right into fusion in the fusion, delete the merge nodes and the background node. So we've got here the clip from my Clio. We connect it to the media out and this up here are all the animations. Hit shift and spacebar and type in camera tracker. Put the detection threshold to around 2.4. Minimum feature separation, I put it to 0.02. It will take a lot longer to render but we've got a lot more tracking points then bi-directional tracking enable it and preview auto track location and then click on auto track then go over here to camera vocal length i've used a 60 millimeter so i type that in then here on solve click on solve so this will take a while so we dive deeper into motion vfx I've put a link down in the description below where you come directly to the Motion VFX site with some huge discounts. Then make sure to select DaVinci Resolve and you can see here they got a lot of different packages. And let's say for example here this workspace package is something for me so I click on it. Then you can see up here you have the trailer so what it's in this package and then you've got here some tutorials how to install it and how to use it. And when you scroll further down you've got many details to it and you've got previews for everything they have. So for example here background then hover over it and you see exactly what it is. So these are the backgrounds included then here curved screens hover over and you see what's inside. Then you've got some effects you can put over it or some intros for your YouTube tutorials or shorts or whatever you use it. Or you have some simple animations like this one. And this is what I really like about it. You can just install it, drag and drop it and adjust the sliders. And you see this is only one package. So there's a lot inside it. So let's say you like this package, so you buy it. And once you've bought it, you can go here to the M installer and just install it for Mac or Windows. And here on the M installer, you can see these are all my package I've downloaded. And by just clicking here, it's already installed in my DaVinci Resolve. So I think you got the hang of it. So if you like it and you want to have access to all the discounts, make sure to check out the link down in the description and elevate your animations to the next level. So back to DaVinci, once your solving is finished, over here you've got average solve error is at 0.25 pixels. When you're below one, go over here to export, click on the drop down here on 3D scene transformation, click on unaligned. Now we select the area we want to place our animation. I just select this area here, click on set from selection and aligned. Then click up here on export, 
and now you've got a node tree like that point cloud you can delete that we don't need that and the ground plane we also don't need that and plug it into the media out so we have a straight line like that and now we just need to plug in our animations into the merge 3d and we can do it by taking here an image plane 3d then we plug this animation into the image plane and in the merge 3d and now you can just play around here with settings and the adjustments until you're happy with positioning of this motion graphic and like that you can position every single one where you want it to have so when you've positioned everything your fusion should look something like that you've got all the animations with the image plane 3d plugged into the merge 3d and render it out to the media out so here in the fusion it's just 3d tracking and positioning and this final result is the reason why i did this with motion vfx once again huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video to do all this animation by myself would would take hours and this was just a decision from myself to do it with this plugin because it looks so amazing i really love it so once again, make sure to check out the link down in the description. You go directly to their site with all the discounts. And with that said, have fun creating and see you in the next one.